Prophetic Weekly family, how in the world are you doing? I hope you are having a super, super good day. It's been a crazy week. The Bible is coming alive. We're living in prophetic times. You can live out the scriptures, wars and rumors of wars. There's so much going on in this day and age. A lot of people I know have been in a lot of intercession, a lot of prayer, praying for the nations of the world, praying for their family. I know there's a lot of people that are really um, economically in a tight spot. You know, and I just recently I had a word that the Lord was just, he spoke 98%, 2%, 98%, 2%, 98%, 2% multiple times to me. And I really believe that there's 2% of the people on the globe that are going to make it through this season in a good place, okay? And I'm talking to a lot of the people in the 2% right here. The Lord's been telling me a lot of specific things such as when the smoke clears, I want you standing at the front. And so we have to focus in on what God is doing in our life, in our city, in our region, our the ministries we're part of, the places we work, um, our nation, also the nations of the world, how to pray and intercede. It is a very crucial time, but it is also a time that I've heard so many people speak on. It is a time to be focused. It is not a time to just be looking around. And so let's dive into this. We got seven good words by six amazing voices. All right. Since Apostle Ryan Lestrange is my covenant brother, he gets two words today. All right. First word is by Mr. Doug Addison. He said, The Lord is releasing fresh revelation, fresh revelation, wisdom, and understanding. Okay. Let me tell you what I love about this. The past three weeks, the Lord has put so much in my heart for wisdom, knowledge, understanding, and revelation. When you can receive a revelation from the Lord. Sometimes you got to watch those double and trifocals. They'll make you mess up when you're reading. I got to put on some other glasses. So think about this. God is releasing fresh revelation. Why would he release fresh revelation? Because somebody's going to grab a hold of the revelation and do something with it. He's releasing fresh wisdom. Why is he releasing that? So somebody can grab a hold of the wisdom and do something with it. You'll grab the wisdom that somebody else needs and understanding. Fresh understanding. There's about to be a whole lot of aha moments. Oh, I get it. I got that. That's what the Lord is doing. Mr. Doug Addison, phenomenal, phenomenal word. Now we're going to stay with some strong prophetic stuff. I'm going to tell you about this word. When I saw this word, I, I literally had to get up and walk around. I literally had to get up and walk around. This word is so good. I'm going to get a drink of coffee on it, okay? Not all words are that good. It's by Sean Boats. He said, I heard God say, I am putting people exactly where I need them. Two Sundays ago, as I was preaching, I felt the Lord give me this word right here as well. I said, I said God is strategically putting people right where he needs them, where he wants them. And then I said, it may not be where you want to be. And, and some of our congregation went, <laughs> but it's where you know you're supposed to be. Okay? I'm telling you, the Lord is putting people exactly where he needs them. When you are at the right place, at the right time, doing the right thing, you will flourish. The other, the other day I was praying for Israel. I just got in a place in prayer and it was like deep intercession. That right there was a divine moment that, I mean, I just felt that in that moment I was in the right place at the right time praying for the right thing. 
There was a, a time recently that my wife and I were with our three kids and our Cavapoo dog, Lou. And we, we were just having family time. We weren't doing anything special. We were just having family time. Man, there was such an anointing on just us being there as a family unit. There's times that I've recently I've went and preached places that, you know, I you know felt the Lord say go, and in the middle of me preaching, I felt I was at the right place at the right time, preaching to the right congregation. Okay, it's just a it's just a good season. I've talked to some people um, in the past three or four days that were in our mentoring group or in our apostolic network um, or in our church, and they just are so excited because they know they're at the right place doing the right thing at the right time. All right, next word. This will be the first word by Apostle Ron Strange. The word I've been hearing loud and clear for many of you is perseverance. Come on now. Perseverance. Cling to God's promise despite all opposition. That promise is yours Faith stands firm with God, never backing down. Together, we're breaking through. Let's move forward. That's it. Perseverance. Keep pushing. Keep, you know, two things I like to tell people. Keep moving forward and advance. Keep moving forward and advance. You have the Holy Ghost. You have the power to stand firm perseverance, move forward, advance. This is your time. Now, this next word is a pretty lengthy word from Nate Johnson. He said, the tables are turning. Has it felt like the the tides have been against you lately? (laughs) That it has seemed like every part of your life is under siege, under fire? Has he been trying to read my mail or what? Has it seemed that every part of your life is under siege, under fire, in the state of contention when you are trying to move forward? Does it feel like every door that should be opening is delayed? There's not a, it feels like there's a thousand men holding it shut. Does it seem like your mind and heart is the target of a million fiery arrows from the enemy trying to take you down? Are we talking to anybody today? We talking to anybody? Now you, you know how, how we roll here. If one of these words minister to you, just in the comments, write the person's name down. A lot of times they'll go back and read it, and man, it just encourages them to know that the word of the Lord that God gave them is is ministering to other people, not just on their page, but on in other sources. He said, "In the last four days, I felt such a burden of the Lord to pray over these very specific places." Um, in people's lives, so I want to bring encouragement today for those facing opposition in transition. Anybody in transition, I'm telling you, the devil don't want you to transition. That's why he's fighting you so hard. So if if this, wait, hang on, time out. Time out. Transition doesn't mean from one city to the next. Sometimes it does. Sometimes like wherever you're living, and some of y'all gonna move to Texarkana, be a part of Roar Church, Texarkana, that's transition, okay? Um, but also it's from one mindset to another. Uh, uh, sometimes it's from one financial bracket to another, an increase. There's transition right now geographically, spiritually, mentally, financially, in lots of areas, okay? Lots of areas there's transition. And so also another part of this word he had, so good. He said, what you're going through, it doesn't look like increase. I'm just going to tell you, how many of y'all have a prophetic word from God that you're about to step into great and mighty things, do great exploits? He's giving you visions and dreams and all these great things, but what you're doing does not look like increase. Holla at your boy. My goodness. It feels like it so much, okay? But he said, lately I've, I've felt such a pull of, of intercession for many who are looking at giant size obstacles and discouraging outcomes and results in this season, they've been prophesied to be marked and birthed with and crossing over into promise. It's just not happening right now. But you got the promise. Whoa, 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 whoa. Go back to Ron Lestrange's word. 
Stand firm. Stand firm in your faith, okay? Then it goes on to say, God, you know, people say, like, God, this doesn't look like the increase that you promised. Many are saying, you know, I felt like I've been going through this for months. I feel like I've been robbed. I feel like I've lost in many areas from health to marriages, finances to destiny. Signs don't seem to be pointing that God is, is basically doing what I thought he was going to do. And people are deeply discouraged. He said, then I was praying and I saw people holding maps in their hands, looking bewildered and confused at the landscape of what they were seeing. And they had a big sigh of exhaustion. They dropped their map, fell to the ground and gave up. So many are wanting to give up and drop their assignment and dream because it looks hard or bleak. He's saying this is the enemy trying to assassinate your dreams. He says, I hear the Lord saying, I am overturning impossibilities right now that you have come to take you out completely. I am overturning the power play that the enemy tried to bring against you. He said, I hear the Lord speaking loud and clear. The enemy thinks he has you, but God is overturning the very thing that has come against you, the thing that tried to disarm you and to bully you. Your breakthrough is right around the corner. That's what I'm talking about. Next word is by my dear friend, Isaac Petrie. Did y'all know that Isaac Petrie used to live a mile from me? We literally lived a mile for one another. Just a mile away. I love that dude. All right. Say so God is not just going to open the door, but he's going to take it off the hinges so that it can never be shut again. Woo, that's what we call breaking all the way through. <laughs> Some of y'all best get, get ready to break all the way through. Next word is by Apostle Dutch Sheets. He said, when you're about to go into spiritual battle, transition into something new. Wait a minute. How many people have we talked about transition? Also, I don't have a word bound, but Jeremiah Johnson is talking a lot about people transitioning. So, Dutch Sheets said, when you're about to go into spiritual battle, transition into something new, or move forward into God's plan for your life, first go have your quiet time, then advance. Now, hang to the own here. He just said move forward and advance. That's what I just told you all ago. Listen, a lot of people are speaking the exact same thing AKA, it's kind of like, it's go time, baby. It's go time. It's time to roll. Last word is by Ryan Lestrange. I told you, because he's my, my, my dear friend, he gets two words today. He says, you know, we're, we're less than three months away from 2024. Be extremely intentional about your prayers, your focus, and your direction. Don't let anyone waste your time. That is by the apostle Ryan Lestrange. And so all those words, you heard multiple people say transition, multiple people say move forward, multiple people say advance. Um, now, now, now here's what you got to understand. Let's back up Prophetic Weekly two, three, four, five weeks ago. A lot of the words were talking about discouragement, stand strong, you're going to be okay. A lot of those words were there. But now as time goes on, you're seeing a shift in the words. The words are getting into move forward in advance. Things are shifting. Things are changing. 5784, the year of the open door, the double door, you're going to go in the door. There's going to be opposition, but you're okay. Keep moving forward and advance. We are in for a very good season, okay? I didn't say easy season, but we're in for a good season, all right? Love you guys. Hope this helped, and hope you have a super blessed day.